Procrastination. Manifests itself within every aspect of your life. You wait until the last minute to buy Christmas presents. You put off seeing the dentist or getting that thing checked out by the doctor. There's a pile of dishes getting higher in the kitchen. Perhaps the stakes are higher than choosing to play Angry Birds instead of doing sit-ups. You might have a deadline for a grant proposal or a dissertation or a presentation or a book. You'll get around to it. You'll start tomorrow. You'll take the time to learn a foreign language or how to play an instrument. Before you do, though, maybe you should check your email. You should head over to Facebook, too, just to get it out of the way. You can try to fight this back. You can buy a daily planner and a to-do list application for your phone. But these tools alone will not help because the problem isn't you are a bad manager of your time. You are a bad tactician in the war inside your brain. In psychology, there's this thing called present bias. It means being unable to grasp what you want changes over time. And what you want now isn't the same thing you will want later. Present bias explains why you buy lettuce and bananas only to throw them out later when you forget to eat them. Present bias is why you've made the same resolution for the 10th year in a row, but this time, you mean it. Thinking about thinking. This is the key. In the struggle between should versus want, some people have figured out something crucial. Want never goes away. Procrastination is all about choosing want over should because you don't have a plan for those times when you can expect to be tempted. You must be adept at thinking about thinking to defeat yourself at procrastination. You must realize there is the you who sits there now reading this and there is a you sometime in the future who will be influenced by a different set of ideas and desires. A you in a different setting where an alternate palette of brain functions will be available for painting reality. The now you may see the cost and rewards at stake when it comes time to choose studying for the test instead of going to the club, eating the salad instead of the cupcake, writing the article instead of playing the video game. The trick is to accept the now you will not be the person facing those choices. It will be the future you, a person who can't be trusted. Future you will give in, and then you'll go back to being now you and feel weak and ashamed. Now you must trick future you into doing what is right for both parties. Capable psychonauts hmm. who think about thinking, about states of mind, about set and setting, can get things done not because they have more willpower, more drive, but because they know productivity is a game of cat and mouse versus a childish, primal human predilection for pleasure and novelty which can never be excised from the soul. Your effort is better spent outsmarting yourself than making empty promises through plugging dates into a calendar or setting deadlines for push-ups. You can learn to live with procrastination, to work around it, but you can never truly delete it from your life. It's just one of the many ways you are not so smart.